I've been doing full-length episode reactions to Sound Euphonium on the Patreon. I'm one episode away of finishing season one. In real life, I was a high school band director for 11 years, so I can relate to this anime quite a bit. It gets me mad. It gets me sad. It gets me emotional. And the advisor slash teacher gets me triggered sometimes because his approach, the pedagogy, it's really weird and unorthodox and just not realistic at times. But then other times, it's completely great. And all be all, though, it is great to see an anime about high school music. So I've heard the opening many times, but I've never heard the full version of the opening. So that's what this video is about. I'm excited. Let's go. intro was so good now in the reactions i never really stopped to go back to actually talk about musically what's going on let's go back though like this intro for the theme in the beginning here can be passed now oh there's so much good stuff happening but -da -da -de 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 -da. we pass it off the sequence is ascending we go from woodwinds and we go to brass but underneath there's some really good woodman layers happening and I didn't even notice the harp stuff that's going on. Also, shout out to the timpani. There's quite a bit of timpani. One more time, though. What is first, like, 10 seconds? Here's the exchange. Bo, bo, be, ba, ba. That arpeggio that's going on underneath. Very, very cool. And the obligatory, obviously, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. That is, like, our rhythmic phrasing between all that. But I just think the scoring of that, it's very realistic the way it's passed around. It sounds like like an upbeat intro to a high school band piece. So that's, that's very cool. Let's keep going. And obviously there. Now, the timpani player is what sets this. Oh, man. It's the, the timpani writing is so good. Let's just go back to about right here. Uh, it's like. I'm singing the wrong stuff there. But it's just like rhythmic and fun. And like the player gets to do stuff more than like boom, roll, boom, rest for 30 bars. Boom, boom, boom. Like it's actually like fun. But clearly it's bringing in like the, the rock element when the guitar is hitting stuff, which is also cool. But at least the timpani player gets some, you know? <laughs> Obviously, and it feels like the the fidelity is increased at that moment, like the volume is like kicked up and the mix is a lot more hot when that brass drops versus what we hear in the beginning. So it's very cool. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because we got the drums bringing us in and the guitar drops, but it's uh, definitely exciting to listen to. Back a couple seconds. <laughs> I think that's my favorite part. Bum, bum, da, 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 space. Ah, because you don't get that immediate drop on the downbeat. It just gets you going. It pulls you over the bar line, and then we hit on the end of one of the next bar. That's just really, really nice. Back a couple seconds to grab that. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. It's like a legit tuba part there going on. It's very like uh, spirit of the day. Like you put the, it's, it reminds me when you like buy some music and it comes with the CD from the, the company. You put it in your plane for your students. You're like, oh yeah, it's like how Leonard presents whatever, you know, like it's, it's very that. But I like the fact there's some light articulations. There's some great woodwind writing. Everything's very clean. Everything's very precise. Now, whether I, I have no clue. Um, and I don't know anything about this band that does the opening, whether the, these are, this is done in a DAW, whether they hired studio musicians, is it really a full on orchestration? I have no clue. All I know is that it sounds fun and it sounds like what you would get in that CD presentation, like I was telling you about. So I've got no complaints. It sounds very real to, uh, the studio type of gig that it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, e 
like perfect writing we got great key changes the flow harmonically is nice and just the embellishments behind with the woodwinds beyond the voice is there and of course it is a show about band but it's like in any dramatic scenario where somehow vocalists end up in it always yeah this isn't a show about choir why do we need a vocalist i, I get it it's an anime opening it's part of it. it's part of the tradition it sets the tone but you know i'll leave it at that back a couple seconds <laughs> That part feels what you would expect for kind of a poppy chorus. Very traditional. Uh, everyone's playing super, super loud. The dynamic is just extreme the whole way. So I would say right there we'd lose elements of like a band kind of a composition because that would not really happen in that setting. We'd have way more elements of music. But it's an opening though, so that's what's there. I'm just comparing it to how the beginning of the opening was way more in tune with what band actually is. So it's still cool though. It's still nice. All right, back five. <laughs> Well, that's a nice little woodwind line that it's very supportive. It's funny because, you know, bass, obviously the lower instrument supports higher uh, realms above it. But I feel like the flute line, the woodwind line, there's really whatever they're simulating there uh, is really supporting the bass line. That was quite nice. I'm just going to go back and just listen, listen down to the woodwinds there. <laughs> That was nice. I was digging that. The obligatory call and response vocal. They're so saturated in effects, though. It, it is what it is. It's like, good lord, though. It's there. Can just see like is this part a little cheesy i could just see the really happy tambourine player dancing around and playing this in the studio though <laughs> Pushing another key chain. Everything is really loud. I'm looking over. I keep looking at the volume and it's it's really creeping up to red. So sorry if you get your ears blown out here. Uh, I'm not a fan of the mix though. Like to be completely honest with you, like there was almost a guitar feature there, but there's the the background vocals are so present within it. You can't the the highway can only fit so many so many cars. We have a lot of cars and they're all going really fast. Just meaning that it's so loud and it's so congested with sound here. If you go back and just 
try to like, you know, I'm going to go back about 12 seconds here and just, or about 10 and just, you know, try to put your ear in the guitar. But there's so much with our super saturated auto tuned effects out background vocals there. It's cool. It has that sound, but we just get lost with some, um, generally when you want to be, uh, in regards to music and musicianship and composition and flow dynamics are so important. And when you just kind of crank it to one level and just leave it there, uh, you kind of close down the ear of the listener. If that makes sense. I went back about 10 seconds. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Bakutu, bakutu, ba, ba, ba. That's a fun fill. And then we, it sounds like we're going to a complete. Finally, we get a break, right? We have roll staccato. Dun, 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 piano. It sounds like a musical suddenly. This is good, though. We want things like this. So let's get the fill again and see where this next phrasing goes. Okay, we got some stop time hits, just basically ta, 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 in the piano, and then everyone else is outlining the chords as the chord progression changes, but not for very long. Basically, like it's one quick little segment there, and then we go into another key change. So there it is. We did get some contrast. You can check the contrast box, but just not much of the dynamic contrast. <laughs> quarter note triplet build up there cool all right so very shout chorusy super 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 loud the bass player is digging in though we got some great bass lines i just i think at the end here we're gonna go listen to the first 30 seconds again just to give some comparison of where we came from and where we went and where we kind of abandoned for a show that is legitimately about band like like the symphonic idea of band so it is interesting i'm not complaining i'm just like I'm like, that's that's fascinating how much we've abandoned that. So let's just grab this quarter and triplet fill again and we'll let it play out. <laughs> fifth string on the bass so such a low resonance um also kind of ironic how pitch corrected everything is for a show that's about you know striving to be all you know real musician stuff okay let's just go listen to the first 30 seconds so you just heard all this very poppy rocky in your face like it's super happy joyful 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 now let's listen to the beginning again one more time and just note the difference How good is that, man? I, I really love that intro, and I, I feel like we get a good... That's 16 seconds. We get 16 seconds that is legitimately relative to the content of so far. I'm only... Or again, I'm 13 episodes in, but it's relative to what's going on. We get to the other stuff, and it, it just kind of jumps in and assimilates itself with everything else. Now, granted, I don't work on music and anime. I don't know. It's probably... You probably got to do that. You probably can't just chill and be, you know, completely relative to what you're doing. But that that's just my take on it. I still enjoy it, though. Obviously, I'm just like, you know, like articulate with, you know, that's not, not criticism. It's just 
just talking. You know, I don't hate it by any means. Like, I, I'm really having a great time watching the show. So anyway, but who cares what I think? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure to check out the Patreon for anime episode reactions. We're obviously doing Sony Fun and we did Cyberpunk. We're doing JoJo's. We did Death Parade. We're doing Death Note, Hell's Paradise, Oshinoko, Chainsaw Man. We got quite a few. We're about to add another one as well. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.